In this video, we will create this web application using the Streamlit library with Python. Visual and other information will be displayed on the screen according to the car brand selected in the select box object. In the video I will show step by step how to do the application. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. First, let's activate the web server. I open terminal. I open the command prompt. I go to Venn file. You can activate the web server using this code. The web server is currently running. Let's add a header. You can add text to the web page using the header function. I save the code file and refresh the page. We added a text to the web page. Now I will add the select box object. I am creating a variable. The first parameter I send to the select box function represents the title of the object. I will send a list as the second parameter. The list I sent will be the options of the select box object. Using the write function, I will print the selected option on the web page. I save the code file and refresh the page. The selected option is printed on the web page. Depending on the selected option, I will show the image of the car and other information on the screen. I will use these images. I added a GitHub link in the description section of the video. You can access all the images from this link. Or you can use your own images. I created a list. There are three members on the list. I will use these three members. I will create the options of the select box object from the list I added. I can access car information using index and key. I save the code file and refresh the page. I added the first option. I'm adding the second and third member of the car list. I save the code file and refresh the page. I added all three members to the select box object. If the first member is selected, I will add a car image of the first member. I can add images to the web page using the image function. I adjust the image size with width. I will create a caption. I will create the caption using the list I added. I can access member information in the list with key and index.
I create a caption using model and price information. I save the code file and refresh the page. Image and caption added for the first member. Let's edit the if query for the second member. I can copy and paste. I am making the necessary arrangements. I save the code file and refresh the page. I do the same for the third member. I can copy and paste. I am making the necessary arrangements. I save the code file and refresh the page. In this video, we learned how to use the select box object. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.